In just a few minutes here with me, you're gonna feel very comfortable navigating Ecamm Live. Let's not waste any time, let's just do it. So we're in Ecamm Live right now and I'm gonna walk you through all the basics you need to know. We're gonna start over here with our scenes window. This is where I can create scenes. Now a scene is basically a layout of all the things that I want on a scene. So for example, I have a scene here, which is just my camera. I have a scene, which is my camera, but zoomed in. I have one where I am sharing my screen and one where it's my camera and screen. This is where a lot of the magic of Ecamm Live happens because once it's set up, I can just switch between the scenes. And you can see I can add new scenes here. I can duplicate scenes by clicking here. I can create a group that has multiple scenes in them. For example, I have a folder for Zoom scenes where it's just my camera or my camera plus a guest and so on. I can also create an automatic group. This is where I can set up some scenes that can automatically switch between each other. So for example, I set up this one here that is going to switch between different cameras every few seconds. And now you can see it automatically switch to this camera and that camera. And it's just circling through those different scenes. Now you may not want to do that for cameras. You may want to like cycle through announcements or something that you're trying to highlight, but that's where you get the option. All right, let's come over here to the main window. This is where you are seeing what's being recorded or what's being streamed. And we're going to start at the top left. Right now it's showing me that the scene that is selected is my camera scene. And I could switch between scenes here if I wanted to. Let's switch it back to the camera. Then I have the option to set a mic delay. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but sometimes you're watching a video and you can see that the video and the audio is not synced up. If because of your setup, you are noticing that happening, uh, you can come here and set a delay in the audio. I noticed that I had to set a delay of four frames for my stuff to be lined up. You may not need a delay at all, but if you see that, this is where you take care of it. Then we can see over here, it's showing me the status. So right now I am recording. If I were live streaming, you'd see details related to the live stream and you would even see how many people are joining live. Over here, I can select whether I want to show my camera, share my screen or play a video file. So I can, for example, click on here and now it's showing my screen. Just to make it a little more interesting, I'm gonna bring up my website. And now in the Ecamm window, you can see my website there. Now I'm gonna switch back to my camera real quick because I wanna show you something. At the bottom left here, we see that we have the option to switch to preview mode. We are currently in live mode. If I click on preview mode, it's gonna bring up a live program window. Now here's the benefit of this. This allows me to preview whatever I'm setting up so that once it's correct, I can send it over to the live window. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna come over here to share screen. Now, notice that it's in this window, but it's not on the live program. So it's not being recorded or it's not being live streamed if I were live streaming. This allows me to check to make sure this is how I want it to be. Now, it's not how I want it to be. There are some black bars to the side. So I'm gonna click here on crop to fill, and then I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. And yes, that looks great. And once I have previewed that, I can then publish it. This is a great way to check to make sure things are the way you want it to go without the people on the live end or on the recording seeing that. And then once it's the way you want it to be, you can publish it. I'm gonna go back to live mode and I'm gonna go back to my camera. Now, usually when I am using Ecamm Live, it's just me. I don't use the live preview mode because that's a lot to monitor while you're trying to present information. But this can be very handy if you're like running it behind the scenes and you just wanna make sure everything is correct before sending it live. If I wanna add a video file or show a video file, I can come here and choose that file or I can choose one that I've already selected before. I'm gonna close the live preview window. I'm gonna get rid of the website and let's continue. Over to the right, I have the option of bringing up a number of windows and we're going to walk through those windows one at a time. The first window is the camera switcher window. Here is where I can see the multiple cameras that I have set up. If you have multiple cameras set up, you can see it here. So I can switch from one camera to the next, to the next, to, and so on and so forth. If I have guests on on Zoom or I'm doing an interview, they can show up here as well and I can click to show them, but I don't have any guests on right now, so I'm not gonna do it. That is the camera switcher window and that is what it does. Let's go to the next one, which is the overlays windows. 
Overlays are awesome because it gives you a way to add text or images or uh, objects and, and shapes to your stream. So for example, I have an Ecamm promo overlay and if I click on that, it's gonna bring that over whatever it is I'm showing. So right now I'm showing my camera and you can see that overlay, letting you know that, hey, if you're gonna sign up for Ecamm Live, don't just go to Ecamm.com. If you wanna save 15%, go to Ecamm.com slash Leslie. That's my special link link that they gave me to hook up my people. And if you use that, you save 15% off your first payment. So if you pay for the first year, you get 15% off the entire year. It doesn't cost you any extra. It saves you money and it helps to support the channel. All right, that's enough of my plug. I can also have other overlays. So for example, I have one inviting people to subscribe. If you haven't done that as yet, hey, you might as well. See, I can add images. I can add screens as an overlay. I can add text as an overlay. This is where you take care of all of that. Let's move to the next. This is where I can see my sound levels. So right now I can see all of the things that are bringing sound into my Ecamm production. My Rodecaster Pro is what I'm using to connect my microphone to my computer. But if I have a video file, I can adjust that here, the volume there, the sound effects, I can adjust those here, the system audio, like if I'm playing a video or an audio file, I can adjust that here. And if I have guests on Zoom, I can do that as well. Next, we're gonna look at camera effects. So I'm on here right now and my camera looks pretty decent. Um, I'm camera A actually. This allows me to adjust how my camera looks. If I'm using a green screen, which I'm not, I can select here. Um, and because those things are green, they're looking kind of funky now. But if I have a green screen behind me, I can use this feature to add images behind me or a video clip behind me. This is where you do that. If I wanted to zoom and pan, I can select here and zoom in, zoom out. And uh, I, if I zoom in, I can pan around and um, get the right framing that I'd like to get. This is where I would do that. Now I can also adjust the picture setting. So if it's not bright enough, I can make it brighter. I can make it darker, adjust the temperature, the tint. I could make it look really wonky if I want to, but I'm not gonna keep it like that. <laughs> I can also select a lot. So this is kind of like a setting that I can apply to my camera to make it look a specific way, a little more dramatic or something of that sort. This is where you do that. You also have a few other options. So if I wanna flip my video, I can flip my video. If I want it to be black and white or sepia, I can do all of that here. If I wanna make it blurry for some reason, I can do that here. So here you have options for adjusting the way your camera looks. Then let's look at sound effects. When I click here, the sound effects panel comes up and I can add all kinds of sound effects. For example, if I'm doing a great job, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate the encouragement. But I can also add, you know, music as sound effects. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You can basically add whatever audio files you want. And if you wanna add a specific sound file, you can click on this right here. All right, let's move on. Comments, let's add comments windows. So when people are watching you live, they can leave a comment. And when they leave a comment on Facebook or on YouTube, that comment shows up here and I can get it from here and click on that comment and have it displayed on my video. It's a great way to encourage engagement. Then there's the interview option. If I click on here, I can turn the interview option on and you can see my camera, but then I can get a URL to send to someone else so that they can come on and join me on this. They don't need to have Ecamm Live installed or Zoom or anything of that sort. They can just come in a browser, connect their camera to their computer, and I can interview them on here. I'm gonna move that out of the way and show you that I also have the option to do it via Zoom. Ecamm has an amazing Zoom integration where I can start a meeting here and then invite people onto the Zoom and those individuals that are on camera can show up and I can add them into my stream or onto my video recording. I'm not gonna go into depth about that because I'm gonna have a completely separate video because this feature is so awesome, it needs its own video. And then this last option here is where I can show and hide my preferences. Uh, these are the preferences and I can go through and there are settings across all of these different areas. I'm not gonna go into all of the details, but this is where you basically can set some things that are literally just preferences. How do you prefer things to operate when it comes to Ecamm Live? I'm gonna show you one example. So here I can see I can 
enable this option to show my camera switcher in my main window. So if I click on that and I go to my main window, I see my camera switcher is here and I can switch here instead of having to go to a separate window to do that. That is just a preference. If you prefer for that to happen, you can set it that way. Ecamm is extremely customizable and this is a way for you to go in and say, this is how I want things to operate. I'm gonna have another video going into all of the settings. So if you wanna go more in depth with that, check it out. Lastly, because I'm recording right now, I have the option to pause or finish my recording. I'm not gonna click on that because then the recording would be done. But those are pretty self-explanatory. Now there are a few more features that you can't see right now because I'm recording, but somewhere up here, it gives you the option. If I wasn't recording, I could specify whether I wanna record or I wanna go live, or I wanna do both. But yeah, that's it, that's Ecamm Live. And if you wanna dive even deeper, check out this next video.